Hello! How's it going? So, as always, we're live on Wednesdays, 6.30 p.m. We, I mean me, um, I'm live today telling you the social media tip of the week. However, I know that no one's here just yet. I know it takes a couple minutes. So I'm just going to talk and fill you in on what's going on with me. And then when it is time, we will go ahead and jump right in. So if you see me looking down, it's because I've got my computer here ready with notes for what we're going to talk about today. So I'm going to make sure that is queued up, ready to go. And it is. Um, let's see. So what's going on with me? I was just admiring my hair, which is super vain. I know. But while I was in Seattle, I, my, one of my best friends, she cut my hair and I loved my haircut and it was like a darker color. Like if you see some of my first few videos, uh, my hair is dark, pretty dark, not quite black, but very close, probably the color of my eyebrows. Um, and then <laughs> She was like bugging me, like, let me color your hair, let me color your hair. And I'm like, dude, you're on vacation. Like, no, stop working. But she loves what she does so much that she's like, but I want to do hair, but I want to do hair. Um, and then, of course, you know, the wedding was happening and I wanted to look good for the actual <laughs> picture. So I decided to let her go ahead. So I was just admiring that I have some good color. Hey, Elise, how's it going? Long time no talk. Um, yeah, so I'm just talking about my hair right now. <laughs> so I was just saying that, um, my friend Sarah did my hair and I freaking love it so, so much. I want to have this haircut like forever. And, um, Sarah, I need you to move to California so you can do my hair like all the time. What do you think? You up for it? <laughs> Probably not, right? <laughs> so, um, yeah, so I was just admiring my hair. Um, I am just waiting a little while for people to join so they have a couple minutes to go, oh wait, she's live, let me head over there and get the social media tip. And then I'll start, probably in like one more minute I'll get going. So if you can hang out, hang out. If you can't, I totally understand. Um, obviously this is going to be here on my Facebook page so you can watch it later. And then last week I actually uploaded it on YouTube also so that people could find it there. And it's been getting a few views there too. So I think I'll probably do that again just so it's as, in as many places as possible so people can find it. Um, so yeah, so just hanging out for another minute. Um, if anybody could let me know, does the sound come out all right with the way my mouth is moving? Um, a couple weeks ago, maybe how, three weeks ago maybe, I did one of these videos and the sound was just not working. So that didn't work very well. I wonder, I don't know how to look at the comments while I'm doing this. I don't know how to do this. I suck at this. Well, I don't suck at it, but like, I can't understand where the comments are. Okay, well, I don't know. Anyways, I was just hoping that the sound is coming out all right. If it's not coming all out good and you still want the tip, just close your eyes and just listen to what I'm saying. That'll work just fine. Anyway, okay, so let's see. It's about time for us to get started, so thank you for hanging out for just a few minutes. For anybody who does not know who I am, my name is Kylie Samao, and I am a social media marketing strategist. And what that means, if you don't already know, is that I basically help people to promote themselves and their businesses online utilizing social media so that you can have um, greater brand awareness and also so you can bring in clients and build your business up. So that's what I do. Um, but I know that not everybody can afford to spend money on something like that. And I know that a lot of us, especially myself, I'm a DIYer. I want to know how to do it so I can do it myself. So I like to share these tips that way you guys can help yourselves also. And I'm always here if you need to ask any questions or you want to have some type of consultation, see if there's something I can help you out with or maybe you want me to help you learn how to do something so that you can do it for yourself, that's something that I'm absolutely available for. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the actual tip of the week. Today's tip of the week is, don't just talk about your brand. It's all great that you have a business and you love what you do and you want everybody to know and all that kind of stuff, but you don't only wanna tell them that. You want to tell them more. You want to give them extra. You want to build some authority so that people know, hey, I need that done. I talked about this today, actually twice today, which is so weird that now I'm doing the video on this. But um, 
You need to build some authority. You want people to think of you when they think of whatever service or item that you're providing. So if you're a cosmetologist, which I know a lot of cosmetologists, and you're providing hair services, you want to show that you're an authority on that subject. So if your specialty is balayage, well, maybe you want to start showing videos about upkeep of your hair once it's been lightened, because we all know that sometimes the integrity can of your hair sometimes is a little challenged after having a bleach service or why a customer should think about wearing a hat when they're out in the sun so as not to ruin their color before it's time for their next touch-up. This is what I mean about building authority. It shows them that you know what you're talking about. Looks like somebody's texting me right now. I'm so sorry. Hopefully that didn't interrupt anything. I'm waiting for the day that somebody's going to call me in the middle of doing this video. I probably should do it on my desktop next time. Um, so you want to build some type of authority. Um, and how are you going to do that? You're going to share other people's information. So not like, oh, go next door because she knows how to do it really good. No, no, no. You want to build authority by showing them that you understand the hows and whys behind the advice that you're giving them. So like I said, that could be sharing something as simple as a little blog article that some random person wrote, but it's on your subject, talking about why somebody should wear a hat when they're out in the sun so they can preserve the life of their color and spend less money in the long run because it's going to fade a lot less, a lot slower. Whoa, what's wrong with my lingo? It's going to fade a lot slower than if you're just out in the sun with the sun beating on you. Get what I mean? So that's one thing that you want to do. Of course, you do want to share information about yourself, absolutely. But then there's something else that you can do. You can share other people's posts and ideas about what they're doing. So say that there is, or again, we're going to go with the hairstylist thing because we're on that subject. Um, say that you are going to, you want to share, okay, you're into balayage, right? We established that. And you want to share pictures of another artist who does balayage as well. But you might want to share them in an area that's not right next to you. So it's not like they're going to go, oh, well, that person's in the next town over. I'm just going to go right over there. But if there are other people, say that there's somebody across the country, you happen to follow them on Instagram, the, the person does amazing work, and you want to show off, you know, that this is the type of work that I can do too. That would be, or, you know, just inspiration, basically. That would be a great thing for you to share. I don't suggest sharing something from the stylist right next door to you. Only because the idea of this, and I know this sounds selfish, the idea of this is for you to build your business, not help build your neighbor's business. Good thing there's no neighbor right here, because that'd be rude for me to talk about them right there, right? And then, of course, yes, you do want to promote yourself. So... There's kind of a little rule about this, and I talked about this a few weeks ago, the rule that I live by when I'm putting together marketing strategy, it's the 70-20-10 rule. So you can do your strategy yourself. If you need assistance, again, I'm always here. But 70% of what you're sharing should be adding value, giving your customer something and building credibility with your brand. So let's say, for example, you're a realtor. How are you gonna build credibility? You might share an article of um, top 10 things that new home buyers need to know or first time home buyers need to know. That might be a great thing for you to share. And it's going to go, oh, this person knows what they're talking about. I think I can trust them to go and help them help me buy a house. So that's where we want to go with this. So that's the 70%. You want to share 70% of things that are adding value to your customer and building up your brand's credibility. Okay, so if you need help figuring out what that is, maybe I should do a video on that too. So if you if you think of any things like that, I'm gonna write that down after we're done to kinda dig in deeper in, in these little videos. But if you have any ideas or questions, you can ask those and I could turn those into a video too. Okay, 70% adding value, building your brand's credibility, right? 20% comes next. 20% is sharing other people's posts and ideas. You're showing, hey, this isn't all about me. There's other people out there that have great ideas and do also great work. Okay, so we're not, we're not just having a big head about ourselves and it's only about us. It's only about our material. It's okay to share other people's work. My personal strategic plan is share from people who are not necessarily competing with you directly, 
if that makes sense. If it doesn't, let me know and I'll explain a little bit more. So that's our 20%. We're sharing other people's posts and ideas to show our customers basically inspiration, things that they could think about or dream about, whatever the case may be. And then the last 10% is going to be promoting your business. Hey, I've got an opening. Hey, there's a special or hey, we have this open house. There's all these different things that you can share about your business. You just want to make sure that you're not only talking about yourselves. We all know those people who only talk about themselves and we think it's super annoying and we don't want to hear it. Neither do our potential customers. So that's kind of the lesson today. Don't post only about yourself. Don't talk only about yourself, your business. You get what I mean? No offense to anybody, but this is what you want to do. Um, and that will actually help you quite a bit. So we're going to live by the 70, 20, 10 rule. Um, it is a widely known rule. So it's nothing like top secret. I didn't invent this. It's something that I've learned over my years doing social media marketing. So I just wanted to share that with you guys today. If anybody has any questions, comments, please do let me know what you think of the video. If you enjoy these tips, great. That's awesome. Now I know, or well, then I will know that I should keep doing them. I've got quite a few tips lined up, so I think we're going to be safe for a little while, but I would love to hear your ideas or questions that you might have so I can help you with that as well. As always, I am available to help you all with your social media strategy as well. So just give me a little jingle. Does that sound weird? Kind of. I don't know, you're not going to jingle me on the internet, right? So um, you could, you could call me if you needed to. Um, or shoot me a message or whatever you need to do and I would be happy to help you guys. In the meantime, thank you so much for joining me. I will be back next week at 6.30 p.m. Pacific time for another social media tip. Thank you so much. Have a good day.